Yo, what's going on folks? Retrospective Dave here, and today's episode of Guided Laces features the Air Jordan 1 and the Taxi colorway. Guided Laces is not a sneaker review, but serves the purpose of helping sneakerheads authenticate their kicks if there is any suspicion that the shoe is a replica or a fake. Keep in mind that this is only a guide to authenticity, as retail sneakers can and will vary from pair to pair. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and without further ado, let's get into the shoe. So the first thing that you'll notice is that this shoe does not come with any extra laces. So you will not get any extra yellow laces, no extra white laces, no extra black laces. The only laces that you will get are the ones that are already installed into the shoe. Those are the only pair of laces that you will receive with the Air Jordan 1 yellow toe. So the second thing you want to look for is the serial number that's underneath the tongue tab. Now for some of you, your tongue tabs may be stitched too far down, so if that's the case, uh, you can just pull the tongue tab backwards and there's a little flap that sits in between the actual tongue of the shoe and the tongue tab and that little flap will have that serial number information that I'm talking about. Um, I also believe that this tongue tab is very size specific, so if that's the case, like for example, I wear a size 12, so on my tongue tab it has my size on it. So if that's the case, then your tab may read a different way. Uh, so please let me know down in the comment section if you wear anything other than the 12 if you see your size on that tongue tab. Alright, so after you check for the serial number that's underneath the tongue tab, you do want to make sure that the shape of your Air Jordan 1 is correct. So a lot of the times the replicas and the fakes do not get this particular part right. So if you're looking at the Air Jordan 1 from the back, it has like an hourglass shape to it. So it's wide up at the top, it thins out in the middle, and then it gets wide again at the bottom. Uh, so please make sure that the shape of your Air Jordan 1 yellow toe is correct. All right, so as we make our way to the inside of the shoe, I do want you to take note of the insole and the Nike Air branding on it. The Nike Air branding does have like a bubbled appearance to it. And also if you look at the R's or the trademarks that are on the branding, the R's do not touch the circle whatsoever. So there is some definite separation between the R and the circle. And it's like that on both sneakers. However, if you direct your attention to the outsole and you look at the trademark symbol on the bottom of the shoe, the R does touch the circle. There is little to no separation between the R and the circle on the bottom of the shoe. All right, folks, the next thing you want to check is the sizing label that's on the inside of the shoe. So underneath the CN where it says CN, there is a long serial number that's on the sizing tag of both shoes. And on both shoes, they're going to read two different serial numbers. So make sure that your left shoe reads differently from your right one. So something that goes under the radar when it comes to buying shoes on the uh, aftermarket is the size of the box itself. So if this is your first time owning a pair of yellow toe or Air Jordan 1s, period, uh, you may not be able to do this at home unless you know other people that have purchased Air Jordan 1s from an actual retail store before. And you can compare the size of your box to their box, but that's only if you wear the same size. Uh, I wouldn't compare a size 8 box to a size 12 box. Um, but if you do own multiple pairs of Air Jordan 1s and you know that you got some of them from a retail store, you can compare your Air Jordan 1 yellow toe box to an older Air Jordan 1 box. And if the boxes match in size, uh, then you should be good to go. Because usually sometimes the fakes, uh, most of the time the fakes will have a significantly smaller box than what the retail boxes are. So uh, please keep that in mind as well. Also folks, when it comes to the box, please keep in mind that this Air Jordan 1 does not come with the green and white YDM sticker that you usually see on the inside of the box. It does come with the stamp that's underneath the box lid but it does not come with the green and white YDM sticker. Alright folks and last but not least I do want you to direct your attention to the box label itself. So this is where you will find the size of the shoe and the um, color code for the shoe and everything. So the official colorway for this shoe is Taxi Black and Sale and if you do look behind the box label you will see some squares or shapes behind it. I don't know what it is I've never peeled that back before but there are some squares in back of it and you can see it underneath the light uh, what I'm talking about uh, but please look at that and make sure that your box uh, or box label has those shapes on it. All right, folks, and that'll wrap up today's episode of Guided Laces on the Air Jordan 1 Yellow Toe. If you like what you saw and got some good information out of this video, please do me a favor and like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload new content as well. Uh, before you go, let me know what you all think about this shoe in the comment section. Do you love it, hate it, are you indifferent? It's definitely the most anticipated Air Jordan 1 of the year, uh, but where does it measure up with all the other Air Jordan 1s that have come out this year as well? Please let me know what you all think. Until then, stay fresh, blessed, and free of stress, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.